your Bible so are we standing if you can turn to the book of Mark 16 20 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 and Acts chapter 4 verse 1 Mark 16 verse 20 and the picture and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following them. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with open face beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. Acts chapter 4 from verse 1 and you know the crippled man was just healed there and as they spake unto the people the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came unto them being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead and they laid hands on them and put them in, in hold unto the next day for it was now even time albeit many of them which heard the word believed and the number of the men were about five thousand and it came to pass on the morrow that the rulers and elders and scribes and Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked by what power and by what name he have done this. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, He rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of a good deed, done unto the important man by what means he is made whole be known unto you all and all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom he crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand here before you whole this is the stone which was set at north of you builders which is become the head of the corner neither is there salvation any other uh, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby you must be saved now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed... Uh, for that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it Amen. something just said read a bit further you see they know this is right Amen. and the scripture said they cannot deny it <laughs> oh God but that is spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus but Peter and John answered and said unto them whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God judge ye for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard and that's what I believe is going to happen after this meetings brother they're going to try to shut you up but you cannot help but go back and speak the things you have seen and what you've heard. God bless you. You may be seated. Praise God. What a privilege to be here. It 
in this uh, meetings where God is busy making history and God chose you and predestined you to be part of this meetings brother where God is going to make history what is the attraction in Harrisburg God coming down to make history to fulfill the word of God now the prophet said this is not just coming and reading a book he says many religions they come and they read out of a book it says and this is not just and i watched the meetings every meeting was so powerful it's not just reading quotes but if you see the fire of god come down on every quote so it's not just reading a book but this is the manifestation of the book hallelujah satan couldn't keep you if you wanted to he couldn't change what's written on the book because you had to be made manifest in this evening time praise god i like to take a title the the bride being identified by the original headship my inspiration changing back to the original glory you come from god and you're going back to god brother i got a little uh, inspiration the headstone coming to unite with a body for adoption praise god so what a time we're living the process this is not just the reading of a book but this is the manifestation of the book Amen. praise god you may be seated i just want to read something here to encourage the people you might be in you still a backslide and you still didn't break through still didn't have your portion and maybe many times you been through many things but listen what the prophet says here infallibility of god's word now all through the years we found out that there was a beautiful promise here and god promised a way of escape a ladder to climb on a sure foundation and god has promised it but it was hooked in glory to the throne of god but where could he find a place on earth to hook it to he tried to hook it one time upon the jewish nation and he found out he couldn't do it he knew what he was going to do all the time because he promised the seed and the seed was in jacob then but he couldn't hook it in jacob the supplanter neither could he hook it in abram little fellow sitting out there in the backs little little shyster lying treating his wife the way he was he couldn't hook it on that he couldn't hook it on many of these other things he couldn't hook it on the temple jesus said there'd be a time when there won't be one stone upon another he tried it in the patriarch david and he took Bathsheba for a wife uriah had killed him had him killed and everything that he tried to hook it to but it wouldn't anchor he says oh hallelujah the prophet there'll be a stone laid in zion a precious stone a tried stone that will be the anchor yes a wonderful stone then god being in it says then god being god in heaven with a ladder hooked into his own throne he hooked it also in none other but the son of man jesus christ the chief cornerstone god don't want his letters slipping around he tried to hook it in the covenant with adam he broke it he hooked it in the covenant and he broke it but god made the covenant unconditionally he took it into jesus christ there it anchored there's no slipping no sliding there's no way of getting away what is it it's hooked by god above by the son of god beneath hallelujah oh god and what is it it's a pathway it's a traveler's way from earth to glory and you you can't fail oh hallelujah look there's a great of companies of angels up and down here ascending and descending picking up the weary picking up the sick healing their bodies showing visions mighty signs wonders can't fail it can't slip it can't slide you are safe hallelujah hallelujah it can't fail it can't slip it can't slide you are safe praise god man you're gonna be you'll be encouraged god said that settle it forever it's hooked around the heart of god in heaven hooked around the son of god down here and we brought into it through the son of god 
we are sending it uh, to him. Amen. Oh my. Then what you scared about? Our promise is hooked between God and Christ. And we are in between. So what are you scared of? Our promise is hooked between God and Christ. It's hooked into the throne of God. Hooked onto the cornerstone. And you are in between. And with you are angels walking up and down. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. My God. What are you scared about? Our promise is hooked between God and Christ. And we in between with angels. He said he will give his angels charge over thee. And the angels of God uncamped among those that fear him. All up and down when we're making this foundation. Climbing each day higher and higher. Each day brings me one round higher. And higher as I move up and up. Anything happens. If I fall along the road or something happens to me. There's a great host of angels standing there to pick me up. Hallelujah. So if I fall, if I slip, if I make a mistake, well then the angels of God is on this ladder to pick me up, to lift me up. If I backslide, well then God will restore me. He will send his angels to lift me up. And in these meetings, meeting after meeting, you didn't know. You came in tired. You came in weary. You came in backslidden. But it was angels lifting you up. Come on. You can make it. My God, how is the devil going to get you? Take that, Satan. This people cannot fail. They cannot backslide. They cannot even give up because the angels are there to lift them up. You say, I made a mistake. That's okay. But God sent his angel to raise you up. You might be sick, but you shall be healed. You shall be delivered. You shall be sealed. You shall be adopted. Praise God. My, the devil doesn't like this type of preaching. These ministers preach. He doesn't like that because it's promises. The prophet says, why don't we challenge the people with the promise? You find the ministers and people all negative. We can't make it. That was those ten spies. But here come Joshua and Caleb. Shut up, man. We can make it. We can possess the land. We can be adopted. Away with the negative preaching, man. The prophet says we need more men. More ministers that will challenge the people with a promise. And I'm here to challenge you. You can be delivered. You can be adopted. You can be sealed. Why, Brother Raymond? It's a promise. <laughs> My God, it can't slip and it can't slide. Hallelujah. It's anchored in the chief cornerstone. And it's hooked in the throne of God above. And you are in between. And each day higher and higher and higher. And one day you break into the rapture, brother. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. We marching on. It says angels standing back to pick me up. Come on, we marching on up towards Zion. On that beautiful city above. Can't fail. There's no failing in it. It don't rest upon what I do. It rests upon what he did. Amen. It's already finished. The believer once anchored in Christ. Jesus coming through the door back there. Put on this highway. You can't get any way but straight up. To God with it. And I want to say this on this highway. It's a one way brother. There's no turning back. You only got to go straight. All the way to glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you feel the angels man. Don't 
don't you feel something lifting you pushing you in these meetings since the very first meeting something raised you up praise God right straight up to uh, to God with it angels take care of you God made a way for this when he seen in the beginning in our first parents fall he seen the covenant he made with Adam he tried to hook the ladder into him and it failed then there's nothing else he could hook it to but to bring down his own son hook it to him so it can't fail now so what we worried about what we stewing about why we go along great big long faces man god loves happy christians it's time to enjoy the message man these are promises my god listen what the prophet says and if you don't have a smile by now i don't know he says yeah walk on a great big long face let's look up and grin look up and not only grin but laugh these old sad miserable looking christians well the process look up and grin look up and laugh my god says not only grin but uh, but laugh not only love but raise up holy hands everywhere giving praise and glory to god for his promises yea and amen not yes and no not yes and no but he says but yes there's no no in it so every promise that's been preached yes lord it's mine yes 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 adoption is mine yes hallelujah when you hear minister say no but you see brother when he says no there's something wrong you said yes brother there's no no in it hallelujah there's no no in it you know when they start no but what about that and no you see I, uh, brother there's something wrong brother says there's no no in it but it's yes our foundation stands sure our foundation is of god god leans on the cornerstone there we are can't slip can't slide can't move then we come into the door through christ put on there we may have our ups and our downs along that's true enough sickness troubles but remember there's a great company of angels all along the road to bear the up at any time taking you up when you fail oh yes uh he's there he promised it and he had to make a way of it so the only way he could make was the cornerstone the precious stone the tried stone the elect oh the name of the lord is a mighty tower the righteous run there in and they are safe can we give the Lord a hand of praise? Oh, hallelujah. My God, what a presence, what an anointing. Brother, man, when Brother Dave Musco started the first meeting, normally they would say that you have to break the ice. There was no ice here, man. The only ice I saw was those ice machines out there. But in here is the fire of God my god hallelujah oh hallelujah brother there's been churches and churches and brides and brides but there has to come one that don't only have the the mechanics but will have the dynamics and the mechanics together hallelujah spirit and word not word and spirit only but spirit and word connected and brother when the mechanics and the dynamics connect together then the devil is in trouble he's trying to keep it apart but god is gonna bring it together and it will shake brother shake shake the world shake the nation shake the cities oh blessed be the name of the lord moses had the word but when he connected with the pillar of fire it came together then pharaoh was in trouble he delivered Israel brother you watch when this pride strikes that final climax there will be an outpouring like you never seen before it may start here
Hallelujah. My God. We had churches, churches, praise, praise. But there's coming one, brother. There's going to be one, Miss Lord Jesus. One, Mrs. Jesus Christ. Praise God. Man, the prophet said, Christ the mystery. He says here, all the new birth is Christ. It's a revelation. God has revealed to you this great mystery. And that's the new birth. Now, what you going to do when you get all that group together? Where the revelation is in perfect harmony. Satan hear that. Church member hear that. Minister hear that. What you going to do? when you get that group together where the revelation is in perfect harmony hallelujah in perfect harmony and god expressing it through his word by the same action same things that he did making the word manifest oh if the church only knew its position it will one day then the rapture will go when it knows what it is and I want to say, brother, when they were in the upper room, one mind, one heart, one accord, they were under the same revelation. Not one believing six seals and one believing this and one. No, they knew that there was a promise that they will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon them. Glory be to God. So when they gathered together, they were under one revelation. Oh, hallelujah. Well, brother, in Harrisburg, somehow, this group of people is gathered under one revelation. So what you going to do when the people get a perfect revelation and everyone's under the same expectancy for the same promise? Hallelujah. Then God must come down. And did he come down? Hallelujah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He's here, brother. The Lord has come down to visit these people. And I'm not going to miss out. I'm climbing in, brother. I want my blessing. If you didn't get it those other days, you can't get it today. Today. Oh, hallelujah. What you going to do? They tried to break it up. They tried to curse it. They tried to revile it. But brother, finally, the devils fell in the camp with a message that there is a way out of here for you and me, brother. Praise God. What you going to do? When they're grouped together where the revelation is in perfect harmony. Oh God. Then he goes to the mighty God on fail. He says, you know, man, how many of you has, has heard or read the story about the great Russian composer who composed Peter and the Hoof and how to act out on symbols and everything? Anyone who knows the story that's written off a paper can hear that symphony. How it's acting that out. The drama played it out. Why? They knew every change. They can look at it here and see the change. But now what happens if the composer writes something and we find out that it, it isn't just acted outright? We find out then that there's something that happens. There's something lacking. When we see he who composed it, made it up and wrote it out, then the symphony is a plain it. And it hits a wrong note. There's something wrong. Watch his next words. The director gave a wrong motion. And that's the trouble in the message. Too many directors is giving a wrong motion.
emotion. But thank God for some directness that's giving a right motion. Oh God, what's his next words? And that's what's the matter today. My Lutheran brethren, my Baptist brethren, my Pentecostal brethren, my brethren from all parts and different denominations. That's what it is. You're trying to give a note that he back there in the days of Luther or Wesley like that, when we, the, actually the music she chose, that this is another day. So you can't point the people back to another day, another time. This is another day. This is Joseph perfection. Oh God. You're trying to give a, a know that it back in the days of Wesley when the, actually the music he chose that this is another day. We can't live in the light of Luther. He was a reformer. We appreciate it, his part. But it's played out. We way over here on the back side of the book now. So brother, it's moved and moved. And now we're on the back side of the book. And on the back side of the book, where the seven sea was pulled open. And the seven thunders bang, 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 bang out to his voices. And Malachi for put it in the book, brother. And now the music sheet can be read. Now you know how the director stands and the symphony is the congregation. The director is the ministers. Hallelujah. And the director directs and the people watch and every motion, every sign is a note. So they watch when he goes up, they go up. When he says come down, they come down. So don't give a wrong motion. You better be reading the music sheet. Oh, hallelujah. My God, we were on the back side of a book. We can't play it out like that. He says, you yeah, know, the only way that you're ever going to be able to do that, my brethren, is this. My brethren of the world in different parts of the world, may I say, hear the prophet screaming out. There's only one way for that director to do. He has to get in the same spirit of that comp that the composer was in. And this was preached right here in Philadelphia, not far from here. I can almost hear Brother Branham's voice screaming out. Come on, directors, get in the spirit of the composer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear Malachi Ford's voice? Not far from here. The city of, oh God, Philadelphia. my god and he says here and he's got the he says here for the director to do he has to get in the spirit that the composer was in then he's got it and when the church the symphony itself where the world is watching for these signs and wonders when the church and the composer and the director all get in the spirit of the composer then when they say the days of murder is past it don't hit the right note when it gets in the right swing of it and the right spirit of it how are you going to do it until the spirit comes down of the composer amen. amen then when you say the days of miracles is never past the symphony cries out amen, amen. when we hear that jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever the symphony cries out amen. hallelujah and you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come on you the symphony cries out amen. Oh God, I got it. There's no more guesswork about it. Then the whole symphony is right in harmony with the word. Just goes on, Brother Brennan. Illustrates by clapping. That's it. It's just a magnificent thing. The director, the composer, must be in the same spirit. And so must the musicians be in the spirit to act it all out. And the world is wondering, what's going on? The communism they talk about, and they made me sick with it. All the integration, everything else, segregation. Oh mercy, such 
such all this nonsense when the come the Lord is at hand yes something hit him wrong I'm afraid the directors has cut out of the spirit of the composer and when we get that composer spirit the original power of God that the Bible said men of all were moved by the Holy Ghost that runs the Bible you see them two Chinese tickets coming right together again and brother what has happened in this evening time the spirit of the composer descended in a shout and he's here right now getting the musicians the directors for what the voice of the archangel my god so when these ministers come up and say chosen perfection that symphony says Amen. when they say jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever Amen. when they said you shall be kept Amen. by the headstone that symphony says Amen. you shall be adopted Amen. that's the symphony in harmony hallelujah with the director and the composer brother we don't have to guess no more this body the prophet says man i have to preach it he says all the time it's been a dark shadow and it was uncertain and but as the headstone comes closer he says the more light as it comes closer the more the positive and the negative becomes closer and closer he says after a while you can identify it so all the time they weren't sure they weren't sure what's happening but now the headship is here brother we can identify that this body is not without the head brother oh god i can't understand why people when you see in this day being pulled out of later sphere and pulled into that bright age i can't understand people would rather identify with little fear than they would identify with chosen perfection it's easier for them to drop down into little fear and identify but when a minister comes and preach the promise and say we are not in little fear we are pulled out of that we are pulled into that capstone hallelujah you are not in little fear brother the minute you drop down then you become naked miserable wretched blind and you don't even know it but thank god he pulled us brother into that slot to make up the headstone and here you are in the presence of god you shall be full you shall be saved you shall be delivered your children is coming your mom is coming your sons is coming brother it's got to happen oh blessed be the name of the lord what a time we are living we are not in little fear we are not in jacob christ but pulled up in your chosen perfection the seed will not be air with a shock brother so the minute you drop down and you watch about says luther was that blade wesley that little store coming up then come the shock but brother did that seed did that plant stop there it went all the way to seed now i want to say something real hard christ's body cannot be shook amen christ's body cannot be shook and hear me and hear me well because christ can't change shook but his body is seed his body is seed and he can change the seed so my god
God, what are these directors doing? Pulling the people back into shock. But thank God, the Holy Spirit has come to pull the people into the seed to change their bodies, to take them into the rapture. So Christ's body is not shock, but it is seed, brother. So the seed cannot be air with a shock. The shock is not going to take your blessing. It's not going to take your promise. You shall be changed. Hallelujah. My God, how do we expect to be adopted if we stay in Laodicea? We are not in there, brother. Pull up into that prior age. You are not in Laodicea. You're in that prior age, the Holy Ghost age, to make up that headstone. And in there lays every promise that you and I need. What we need to get out of here lays in that Holy Ghost thought. Hallelujah. In there is adoption. Brother, they speak about the token. Well, in there, the Holy Ghost, that is your token. That's why spiritual death cannot take you. Let the death angel pass. I am free, brother. Why, brother Raymond? I've been pulled into that Holy Ghost token. My God, every death spirit has to leave because the token, the literal, literal life of Jesus has come unto the believer. So you put into that Holy Ghost slot. Now let every death angel pass. I am free at last. But I'm going back a changed man, a changed woman. Pull out of there, brother. My God, they feel we mustn't be happy. Brother, I'm the happiest man on the face of the earth. To know that I escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. Lust for big things. Lust for women. Lust for money. The lust of the world. You escaped it, brother. Pull out of Lido's here. Pull out of that mess. Now you are free, man. escape leaders here you escape the lust of the world you escape the world you escape those bunch of prostitutes you escape those bunch of drug addicts you escape the alcohol the sex you escape those sodomites you escape those antichrists you escape the Pope you escape the devil be happy when God let me escape the world escape the Pope escape the Antichrist escape every devil on earth pull me into that Holy Ghost slot you can dance man you can shout you can praise God you escape the world you escape the devil you escape those sodomites you escape the Antichrist you escape the sex and the filth Hallelujah! Our oh, anchor is on the chief cornerstone. It can't slip. It can't slide. It can't move. You cannot slip. You cannot slide. And you shall not be moved.
my god young people you are free what happened last night that was the manifestation of the book brother when the day of pentecost they came to him and says what mean of this peter said this is that spoken by the prophet in the last days he poured his spirit well what is this this is that spoken by malachi 4 that there will be an outpouring of the dynamics upon the bride's mechanics brother it is happening it is here don't be blind don't let the devil fool you i want my portion i want my blessing i'm gonna have it it's mine it's mine Give it back, Satan. Adoption time is here. Hallelujah. My God, and let me tell you, don't let the devil start lying to you already. You going back, you gonna be changed. You're gonna stay changed. You're gonna stay delivered. You're gonna stay free, brother. This is not just something that's happening now, and by the time you get home, it's finished. No, you have been magnetized. You have been magnetized. Don't you feel the pull of the Holy Spirit pulling you? I feel the pull. I feel the call. I feel there's something here that's pulling me. That's pulling me. My God, hallelujah. Man, Lord, show me which way to go, what to do. But all I know is here, brother, and I know I am free, and I know that I escaped Plato's here. I escaped every antichrist. I escaped all the false Christ. You escaped all the interpretations, all the denominations. You escaped it, man. You escaped the devil because he couldn't find you. My God, he looked for you under the first seal and you weren't there. The second seal, you weren't there. The third seal, you weren't there. The fourth seal, you weren't there. The fourth seal, you weren't there. The sixth seal, you weren't there. And then he was full because he read there was silence. But hallelujah, 1963, when Malachi 4, the lamb in the prophet pulled back that seal, your name was there. My God, I must get out of here. I feel the anointing of God. Let me tell you. Signs say this. Signs. And that's why I say you're going to go back change. And you're going to stay change. Signs say about a certain type of rock. It's called lodestone. Or iron bearing rocks. They say when this iron bearing rock, which is not yet magnetized, is brought into a magnetic field, they immediately become magnetized. And brother, over this weekend, man, you walk into a magnetic field. And the headstone, the Holy Spirit, is that magnet. And when you walk in here, they say these stones, when facing a certain direction, comes in the field of magnetism, they are swung around in the direction of the pool yeah. hallelujah and brother i can tell you you've been swung around and the prophet says the seven thunders will literally turn you around yeah. my god and then they are swung in the direction of the pool. It, it, what happens? That hook, he says it's mechanically swung around. And they say under hot temperature, it makes the rock easier to be magnetized. Now the devil from here will come down and pressurize you. But praise God, the hotter the trials become, the easier you become magnetized. Hallelujah. My God, I didn't even preach what I wanted to preach, but I want to say this, brother. Let me tell you, and they say, once these rocks 
are removed. Do they cool off? They say, saints say, those rocks remain magnetized. So I don't care what's going to happen, brother. I felt the pull in this meetings. You felt the pull. You are going to stay magnetized. Never mind what the ministers will say. You will stay magnetized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where they take you. It doesn't matter if you're alone in Timbuktu. You will stay magnetized. Do you believe that? You are free. Well, then let's worship God. God bless you, man. You stay free. The Holy Spirit's all over the building. This anointing, what is this? This is the manifestation of the book. The original headship is here to identify with the bright body. You cannot slip and you cannot slide. You are going to be there, brother. Your family, your children, your mother, your father, they are going to be there. Hallelujah. Brother, the dove has finally landed in the message. The revelation is in perfect harmony. What you gonna do, backslider? What you gonna do, church member? What you gonna do, minister, when that group gets under that revelation in true harmony? Watch the dynamics flow, brother. Oh God. This is what is coming, brother another x4 and he says yeah x of the holy spirit oh god peter john to ignorant unlearned man passed through the gate called beautiful my the devil said well now we're just out to, they are just out there preaching he says yeah so it won't hurt anything then all these people believe in preaching everything but when they pass through the gate called beautiful they laid a man the holy ghost said peter that man can be healed he's got faith and when he perceived he had faith to be healed he said stand up on your feet and he picked him up and he held him till the ankle bones received strength and the way he went leaping and jumping and praising god you know what you know what that caused more trouble than all the preaching they ever did brother you just let something on the phenomenal side start and watch every rogue hound in hell go to hollering at him craving blood is that right true i tell you preacher uh, peter preached a sermon on the day of pentecost three thousand souls were saved the devil never even moved out of his bed that's right oh well let them alone but he passed through the gate called beautiful the next day and healed a crippled man from his mother's womb and all hell turned loose that's right put him in jail kept him overnight put him in prison the inner cell there because the phenomenal the devil said i can't let this thing get started now divine healing if they do they really will knock my props from under me i might fool them around with a little theology once in a while but i shock and fool i shock and fool the real thing that comes out and people see it done it just stops this before the other groups get on the scene so the devil would like to stop the supernatural from taking place that happened in this meeting and wouldn't like the other groups to get it but listen he never stopped it then and he cannot stop it now this will go out through all the world that the supernatural headstone power is here to identify with the bright body god bless you you are free man hallelujah oh hallelujah
Oh God, I escaped, man. I'm an escaped one. You are an escaped one. Just turn around and tell your brother, you are escaped, brother. We escape the world. We escape the eruption. We escape the false Christ. We escape the antichrist. We escape all leaders here. We are pulled into the pride age. Thank you.